Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're going to do a different type of sale tonight. We're actually going to do a pre-recorded sale where I'm going to show you 10 pieces of jewelry that are going to be marked number 1 through 10. I'm going to describe those pieces in the description box below. You'll also see the description along with measurements and the price. How you purchase one of these items is you must email me. Comments below about wanting to purchase won't count. You need to email me at thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. It's a first come, first serve basis, meaning the first email I get, say for example, that wants this necklace, is the one that I will send a PayPal invoice to. PayPal only accepted. Shipping quotes are domestic only. So again, it's a first come, first serve basis. If this is a necklace that you want, you must immediately send me an email. And then what I will do is invoice you via PayPal and payments due immediately upon invoicing. So my email is thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. I won't be including that email in the description box below, but you can find it on the About section of my YouTube channel. It is listed at the very top in the About section of my YouTube channel. So again, it's a first-come, first-served basis. Please don't comment below. If you're wanting to purchase something, please email me. That email is thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. In that email, you must include your YouTube name, your real name, your mailing address, and you must confirm in that email your PayPal email address. If I don't have those items in that first email where you're wanting to purchase, I will have to move on to the second person in line that wants to purchase an item. So please make sure that you include all that information in there in the first email that's wanting to purchase. And then that way I can send you a proper invoice through PayPal. Shipping is $5 per piece of jewelry. If you buy two or more pieces of jewelry, that's going to be $9.45 shipping. And we are going to get started here with number one. This is a Malachite sterling necklace it's marked vj on the back it's native american vintage it's 20 inches long the main pendant right here this main pendant is two inches wide one and one half inch long and the stone is one one and three fourth inch wide these smaller pendants right here are one and one half inch long and one inch wide so this is marked VJ on the back, and I'll show you that real quick. It's on the back of the main pendant here at the bottom. So here's the mark Sterling VJ on the main pendant there in the center. I'm not sure what VJ stands for. I tried to look it up, but I didn't have any luck finding out. So we'll dance around this necklace just a minute so you can get a good look of it. So all Malachite sterling, this has not been cleaned. What I've learned is most people don't want their sterling cleaned. And sometimes a little bit of that different coloration adds character to it. So here's an up close of the chain. This is item number one. This is $275. So $275 item number one. We'll show you up close the Malachite there too and the engraving in the different pendant links. So if this is an item you're interested in purchasing, please email me again at thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. In that email, you must include all of the items that I asked for at the beginning of the video so that I can make sure that I place those with this item. Also, if you don't mind, just so I can find it quickly, in there, just put number one Malachite necklace. I'll know which one you're talking about. So we'll go on to the second item that I think you'll love just as much as this one. So the second item up for sale, number two, is a vintage Damascene sword letter opener. It's etched, and then there's Mother of Pearl also. It's gold tone, medieval to me. It's $45. It's four and three-fourth inch long, one and three-fourth inch wide. And I think this is probably 1960s. So I'll show you up close at the etching on the handle. Again, this is a letter opener. It is made in Spain, which you can see right there. You see the mother of pearl right behind the protective portion of the handle. So again, this is four and three fourth inch long, one and three fourth inch wide, very detailed, made in Spain, 1960s, I would guess, and this is $45. Here's the back of the handle, and you can see there's etching there also. Again, this is a letter opener, very unique. And you're going to see that mother of pearl right there. If you're interested in that item, purchasing it, please e send me an email that says you want to purchase number two, Damascene's uh, sword. 
and I will definitely know which one you're talking about. Next item up for grabs is a number three. It's a gold filled cameo. This is a real shell Victorian brooch. Cameo brooch. Very detailed. That is real shell. It is gold filled. It's not, it does not have any markings at all. It's one and three fourth inch long, one half inch wide, and it's about one half inch thick. We'll get up close here so you can see the detail. Again, that is real shell. The edging you can see on the gold fill. There's the side of it. And here's the back. So a C clasp. And there, right there, you see at the top is how that shell is held in the frame. Same way around the edging right there where you can see that. This cameo here is $45. So again, that's item number three. Just say gold filled cameo, real shell. $45. I'll put the pricing in the description box below. That is a beautiful piece. Again, that is one and three fourth inch long, one and one half inch wide, and one half inch thick. Next item up for sale is a vintage sterling. It's marked MDA, so there's an initials, but on items like these, since they're so vintage or maybe antique, I don't mind them having initials, so I like to purchase these for resale. So I'll show you. It's marked MDA. It has marcasites. You're going to see this beautiful dark blue and baby blue enamel. On the back, it's marked Made in France. Now, ironically, this is not marked sterling anywhere, but I did test it for sterling, and it does test as sterling. It weighs 11 grams, so it's pretty heavy. It looks like it's small. But it's a pretty heavy piece. We're going to show you right here on the back where it says Made in France. You see right there on the bottom. Kind of a C-clasp. So you that clasp up close right there. So again, there's no sterling marks around the edge or anything, but it does test sterling. It's only marked Made in France. A very beautiful piece to add to your collection if you like Victorian style jewelry. Although it does say MDA, I think it's beautiful. This item is two inches long, one inch wide, and this is going to be $40. So that's $40. It's item number four, MDA Sterling. And again, that will be in the description box below. This next item is probably one of my favorites. It's a rare brooch made by Coro. On the back, it's marked Coro, and it has a Pegasus next to it. And I'll show you that in just a second. This is called Walking Dream. And in 1946, December of 1946, on page 227 in the 17 magazine, Coro had an ad about this brooch, and it was called Glamour Girl and Her Glamorous Pup for Charming Christmas Giving. This is a very rare brooch. I can't find any online like it. You guys might have luck doing that. This designer is Adolph Katz. Again, this is a Coro brooch. This is $425. And this is marked item number five, dog walker brooch by Coro. It's the only dog walking brooch that I have, so it'll be easy to find. If one of you email me wanting to purchase it, I'll be easily able to find it. So again, this is called Walking Dream, and it was advertised by Coro in December 1946 on page 227 of the 17 magazine, the designer's Adolph Katz. Again, this is $425. Great ad. I did find that ad online very unique ad. So I'm going to show you up close the dog walker and the details. I don't know if any of y'all have seen one like this before, but again, this is $425. And I'll show you the back as well, along with the Coro mark and the Pegasus mark next to Coro. She have greens, blues, clear rhinestones. So this is item 
Number five, dog walker brooch. There's the back of both of them, so they both have pins. Again, this is from 1946. And the ad said, Glamour Girl and Her Glamorous Pup for Charming Christmas Giving. So I guess she was out Christmas shopping. So I'm going to zoom in on the Coro mark here. I'll move the pen so you can see the Pegasus. So if you like to collect Coro, I think this is definitely a collectible piece. Might be great to add to your Christmas collection, too, if you're a collector of Coro. So again, that's item number five, and that is $425, the Dog Walker Brooch by Coro. Item number six is a Victorian-style brooch, Art Nouveau, two and a half inches wide, two inches tall. It is $35. This one looks like it might have been repaired. I don't know, but it's still a beautiful brooch, so I did peck it up. I love the way it's set, and I love the detail around it. So this is $35. Again, this is item number six, amber-colored cameo. If you tell me that, I will definitely know, but put item number six in your email if you're wanting to purchase this item. But you're going to see right here where it looks like it might have been repaired at some time. So this is not real shell, but it is real pretty, and so that's why I picked it up. Looks like it's brass, and it is pretty heavy also. So if you're interested in item number six, the Ambered Color Cameo, please send an email to thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. Item number seven, my dare to be one of my favorites also. This is made in France. It's French Art Deco Amber Bakelite Seahorse Pendant. So I believe this to be about 1930s for my research. It's embossed brass and the seahorse. There is applied to Bakelite, amber-colored Bakelite, and then it's attached to a brass backing, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. That brass backing has a single rivet. So this item here is $145. Number, item number seven is $145, 1930s vintage. It's marked Made in France on the back. Brass, 16 inches long. And the pendant is one and one half inch long and one inch wide. Again, that's $145. That's item number seven of 10 items. If you're interested in purchasing this item, first come, first serve basis, send me an email to the costume jeweler at gmail.com. Let me know in that email that you do want to purchase. So those emails are intent to purchase. So make sure if you're going to email me, you are wanting to purchase for sure. Show you around this necklace a little bit so you can see the detail of the pendant. So again, 1930s, beautiful chain. You can see the bakelite there that the seahorse is attached to. Definitely one of a kind item. There's what it looks like from the side. I'll show you the back and then we'll also lay it down and take it off this stand so you can see. So it says made in France there on the back. You see the single rivet. Great condition, again, 16 inches long, and then the pendant is one and one half inch long and one inch wide. That's item number seven. Lots of dimensions in this pendant. That's one of the things that I loved about it when I found it. Not to mention the fact that it's made in France. I'll show you, show you the clasp. Perfect condition, so 1930s. Very well made, and right there you see the made in France on the back of it. So if you're Christmas shopping for somebody that loves eclectic and antique jewelry, this is nearly antique. It's nearly 100 years old. I think this might be the gift for them. So again, that's number seven. That is $145. So in your email, put number seven, seahorse necklace, and I'll know which one you're talking about. But it's really pretty. I love it. So on Bakelite.
have lots of favorite pieces of jewelry, and this one is no exception. This is a 1940s or 1950s. It's called Symphonic Jewels by Robert. So it's the Symphonic Jewels Collection. These were pins, brooch pins, that were made in the shapes of different musical instruments. This one measures three and three-fourth inch long, one and, and one-half inch wide. This is obviously a good tar with a lot of beautiful jewels in it. So you have some pinks, purples, light blues, grays. And this is item number eight. And we are listing it for... $430. So this is definitely a collector's piece. Again, it's called Symphonic Jewels by Robert or Original by Robert. This is 1940s, 1950s. I did some research on it online. Saw some old ads for it and things like that. This is in great condition. Again, three and three-fourth inch long, one and one-half inch wide, and it is $430. So I'll put that same description, that same price, in the description box below. And if you're interested in item number eight, which is the rhinestone guitar or guitar brooch, it's the only guitar brooch I have, then just email me at thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. Again, that email is not in the description box below, but you can find it in the About section of my YouTube channel. So we're going to try to zoom in on some of this after I show you the back so you can see up close all of the rhinestones. Very beautiful piece. This is not marked anywhere on the back. I have looked in detail with my loop and with my phone camera here, and I don't see any markings at all. But if you do a Google Lens search, you'll find it online. So it is a brooch. You see the pen right there. Again, great condition. There are not any rhinestones missing. So I'm showing you the back of it, and then I'll show you the front. Again, this is item number eight. It's $430, probably from the 1940s, 1950s, and it's an original by Robert called Symphonic Jewels. Show you up close. You can see all the rhinestones throughout. See all the brass strings for the guitar, but it's loaded with rhinestones. So to me, that again is a one-of-a-kind piece, a definitely a collector's item. Maybe some of you ladies have had this in the past. But that is item number eight, Symphonic Jewels Guitar, an original by Robert, 1940s, 1950s brooch. And again, that's three and three-fourth inch long, one and one-half inch wide. That is $430. This is item number nine. This is a rose quartz, three strands. This is a vintage... Not sure the exact year, but it's vintage Rita Frasione. That's F-R-A-S-C-I-O-N-E. You probably saw this in one of my other videos and the video tonight of where I thrifted it. So I did post the video today of where I had thrifted it when I was back in Texas. So I'll show you up close here, the detail of this pendant. I'll give you the measurements for that pendant in just a second. Sarita so Frasioni is an Italian designer known for making fine jewelry from semi-precious stones or rare stones. And this is either Diane the Hunt. This is not Diane the Huntress. I don't know what goddess this is. Did you see the flowers there? I'm not sure. So the next one I'm going to show you, which is item number 10, is the one I was about to talk about. But I'm not sure of the name of this goddess on this piece. But you see all the beautiful three strands of rose quartz, and that medallion brings all of those together right there at the center. So this is number nine. This is $450. So number nine is $450. 
that video really shocked me because it was the first time I went into that thrift store in Texas, and it definitely won't be the last time, but I had no idea I'd be running onto this. And I got a second one too. We'll talk about that. It's number 10. So I'll show you up close the stones. And I'll turn the light off too, just so you can see the paint color, because the light definitely throws different shades for it. But it is pink. This necklace does have the hang tag that's marked Rita Frasioni. And I may be mispronouncing the last name, that's okay, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Again, I loved them for the pendants. I love them for the, the jewels on here also, but these pendants were just crazy great. So I'm going to show you this up close again. We're going to zoom in a little bit better on this pen. I'll show the back of it as well. But I mean, just the detail, the attention to detail. So if you know what that goddess's name is or what that symbol, what that means, let me know in the comments below. But you can see there, Rose Quartz. So this video will be up for a week. So they do look a little bit white there, but they are pink. So this is number nine. Just call it the Pink Quartz, Rose Quartz medallion necklace three strand or something like that and I'll definitely know what you're talking about and let me measure that for you real quick and give you the measurements so this necklace is 20 let me see what it is it's 24 inches long so 24 inches long three strands the rose quartz they are one fourth inch diameter and the medallion that holds all three strands together right there is three and a half inches tall and one and one half inch wide. So again, this is $450. I'm going to show you the hang tag also. So here's the back of it. It's a toggle clasp and here's the hang tag. I'm going to try to zoom in on that so you can see it well. So Rita Frasciani, Florence, Italy. First time I've ever had this designer brand before. So this is number nine, $450. So if you're looking to purchase this in the email, just say number nine, rose quartz, medallion necklace, and I'll know which one you're talking about. So the last item we have tonight in the pre-recorded sale, which is the first time me doing this, is another Rita Frasioni, Frasioni medallion necklace, lapis, this medallion here is Diana the Huntress. So if you look up Diana the Huntress, you'll learn all about that goddess. And you see there you have the dogs. You have the bow. And then you have a wolf. So again, this is made by Rita Frasioni, Florence, Italy. This is marked RF. Farida Frasioni on the um, tag at the back, which I'll show you. But I'm going to try to show you up close the detail of this medallion. So you see the arrow there, the bow, then you see the wolf here at the bottom. You have four strands of stone. This is $450 also, like number nine. This is made by the same designer, Florence, Italy. I couldn't find one like this on the internet, but I did research. This is $450. And I'll give you the measurements in just a second when I show you the back of it also. So you have four strands. 
So again, if you're interested in purchasing any of the 10 items, it is a first email, first serve basis, meaning you must email me at thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. In that email, I need serious inquiries only, please, on purchases. That way I don't get them mixed up with somebody that might be second line that's, you know, looking to purchase. So that way it just makes it easier for all of us. And again, that email is thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. You see the RF right there. And then I'm going to show you these stones. And we'll take another look at the back also of the medallion. I've never seen a piece like this. So this is item number 10. I can you just call this the uh, lapis medallion necklace. If you can't, or Rita. But put number 10, whichever one you write about, put number 10. So let me show you the back of it. So there's the back. And there's the stones up close. One of a kind, I think. I think it's a one of a kind piece, both of them. So just to do a recap, we sh I showed you 10 items that are for sale. This is a pre-recorded video that I'm going to upload in just a few minutes. So it will be coming out um, tonight about 9.30 Eastern Standard Time on Monday, October 17th. We will leave this video up for one week because after one week, these items haven't been shown on YouTube live sales. We will continue to do those. But these items are for purchase by email only. So please, you can feel free to comment below all you want. I love your comments. But if you're interested in purchasing something, you must do so by sending me an email. Again, my email is thecostumejeweler at gmail.com. That won't be listed in the description box below, but you can find it throughout this video where I mention it, or you can um, check out the About section of my YouTube, and you will see my email at the top uh, where I describe my YouTube channel. You'll see my email listed at the top. Again, first email received gets whichever item you're wanting. Um, if somebody's second in line, then I'll let you know, you know, that somebody else already purchased it. I will mark in the description box below each item number, a description of the item, measurements, the price. And once it's sold in the description box below, I will mark it sold. Again, the prices for shipping are domestic only. That's $5 per item. If you buy two or more items, that's going to be $9.45 shipping. I do invite international shipping. Um, but on that, these rates quoted are not valid for international. What I'll have to do if you're international, let me know that in an email. And then what I'll have to do with your address is take the item that you're wanting to the post office, see what it costs to ship, and get back to you on the exact shipping for international. But I will ship international. Again, in that first email to me, please, please, please give me your YouTube name, your real name, your mailing address, and let me know in that email what your PayPal email address is, because I only accept PayPal. Please don't put any of that into the description box below. But again, thank you all so much. This is the first time I've done a pre-recorded for sales. So we're only doing 10 items right now, but you will continue to get live pop-up sales from me. So make sure you hit that notification bell, click all so you don't miss out. Also hit that subscription button if you're coming to my channel for the first time. I think you'll like hanging out in the hen den. We all have a great group here. And don't forget to hit a thumbs up for this video. So I'm going to go now so I can upload this so you guys can have something to look at tonight and maybe purchase some of these items. And we'll see y'all later. Bye.